Heading home today, everybody's getting on the bus and getting back, going about their separate ways. This is a great conference. Thanks, Norman, for setting it up. We loved it. Yes, it was awesome. You've taken one too many photos. <laughs> okay, we got a movie going on over here or something like that. A guy on roller skates and a camera. It's pretty cool. Watching a movie star. Yep. Oh, there's the actor. How to ride the train. <laughs> Now in the front. Okay, off the train in Amsterdam. Here we go, Wagamama. We had to walk through the whole long way to get uh, to the other end for the cabbie stand, but we are here. There was a trash hut. The trash hut was a horse with a small boat, and the horse was put. Get yourself a wine or something and just go sit on the grass. Enjoy the beautiful How sun. Lovely, yes. Yeah. And look, the building at the end is the Rijksmuseum. Okay. At the far end of the park yes, here. You see how beautiful it is. Yes, it is. 100 years ago, this was actually the the parking uh, for the buses. So imagine that here we're bus driving 100 years ago. And then here at, at the right, this is the concept bus, the concept oh. building. Yay, we got gold medals for checking in. Yeah, look, yay! <laughs> Flockerton. Woo! 1928 Amsterdam Olympics. I'm still celebrating. Nice hotel room. Let's see your gold medal again. Your gold chocolate medal. Is that chocolate? It's chocolate. chocolate. Yummy. Snacks for later. Yes. Or now. <laughs> Okay, our first adventure in Amsterdam. We're learning, look out for the red path because that's where you get run over by the silent but deadly two-wheeled vehicles like that. <laughs> this hotel we're at right here, the Apollo, was built for the 19-something-something Olympics. And there's a big row, 1928 Olympics. And there's a big rowing facility right down below it, like sculling. So what's that? You had some Olympic trivia? <laughs> yes, I read that the 1928 Amsterdam Olympics were the first place the Olympic fleet was lit. Okay, wine shopping. Okay, here's a cool thing. It's got a, this is a toilet, but it also says it's a secure luggage point. What if you can store luggage down in there? Looks like it. Okay, heading into the supermarket. There's a bunch of people up on top of the roof there, which is a big grass garden. Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. thing in the Netherlands. It's like a whole stack of licorice candy. Bag of stuff. All good. All right, hanging out in the park now. We've got a nice beer and a nice wine. Just gonna enjoy ourselves. Okay, I got this street mix. Mild Gucroid. How do you say that? It's like a little bit of everything in there. Try one of these. What is that guy? It looks like a little shell or something. Mmm, delish. And then Tamara found one of these, this Amsterdam Vit beer, so yummy white beer, which could be really good. So it looks like the can's slightly smaller than but it's cold, <laughs> fresh beer. Amstel River. We're here in the, let's see, we're staying in the hotel right there. Staying at 
that hotel, yep. And then we're up at the museum quarter. And we're gonna walk up kind of into the Jordan, this maybe into the near? town center. Or this way. Walk through there. I think we'll go straight north there. Like this? Or maybe into the old town. That'd be fun. And then go up there and hit the Anne Frank house, which is in the Jordan. Okay, this is cool. On the edge of the museum plan, it's the Turkey consulate and the U.S. consulate right together. All right, that was a nice hour-long break at the uh, museum plan. I'm gonna head. Uh, it's got a little chilly, so we're walking to this cool thing. That's the Rijksmuseum. And uh, we can't go in there because there's no tickets left for today and we really didn't plan in advance. You got to do that to some of these things, but we're going to the Anne Frank house tonight and then we're going to make a nice walk down to the Jordan. We've got dueling saxophones going on around here. TikTok video being made right there as we speak. Everywhere you look, there's a saxophone. <laughs> okay, we're in this huge tunnel. It goes into the Rijksmuseum on both sides, that side and there. And it's got a bike lane right down through the middle of it. So it's just really a unique building here. Okay, the Rijksmuseum from the outside. Okay, death by bike. <laughs> See if we can cross and not get killed here. There's like bikes, bikes out there. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, success. I feel like I could knock all this stuff down in just a second. Okay, look, I get to use this word after all. It's surprising, but uh, I guess it was useful because look what's over there. It's a noose horn. <laughs> Having a good old time. We found a Peruvian restaurant right on the canal. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Radler, a lolly. Cars are just parked on the edge there. Traffic's all backed up here on the canal. A oh, person cuddling for him. It's fun, but I had anxiety the whole time that I was going to drop my phone and computer in the canal. That was lovely. Oh, thanks. Uh-huh. Those ones on the side. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, that's cool. He just did it. He turned into the side. Nice. To go right through the door. Yeah, uh huh.
we ended up in the Donner Kebab shop. Right, so this is where everybody, all the tourists are hanging out in front of is the Anne Frank House. So it's right here at the green door and then the building next to it and the museum is right on the end. And we're gonna go take a tour of this. It's kind of where Anne Frank and her family would have been hidden for two years during uh, World War II before they were caught. They would have stayed inside there and like never come out ever. They were hidden in a uh, room behind a secret bookcase. There's well, two stories in the attic. They would have been able also to come down to the main warehouse area, but this was a plant for uh, making jams and jellies and uh, fruit preserves that uh, Anne's dad owned and uh, set it aside and got it ready for them. And they stayed there with, uh, with another couple and their son and then a uh, dentist. You're only allowed to enter in your 15 minute time slot, so we're uh, hanging out in front. Gotta kill about eight more minutes. Yeah, that was a cool experience, the Anne Frank Museum, and uh, couldn't take any photos in there, so it's pretty much blank, but it, read the book. It was good. <laughs> So if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe.